In this video, I want to talk to you about colored pencils. So colored pencils are in the color pencil cabinet, and I want you to notice where these and how these are stacked, how these are put away. First of all, they're on the bottom. There's two different shelves. There's a bottom shelf and there's an upper shelf. There's probably something stored up here. If not, it doesn't matter. These still go on the bottom shelf. I want you to notice how they're put in. They're stacked too high and the numbers are facing out. The skinny side is facing out. So they're not just tossed in like this and to the side. They're put in this way. Now you have a number on top and you have a number on both ends. So it really doesn't matter which end goes in first, but they're put away like this. Now when you choose your pencil bin, you're choosing by your table number, okay? Here is table number one. Table number one means me. One is an extra bin that I have. So when you are getting your bin, these should be latched and they stay latched until you get to your table. When you get to your table, you're going to unlatch them. You're going to take the cover off and the cover is going to go underneath the bin. It's important that the cover goes underneath the bin so we don't lose it. It doesn't end up on the floor. And this also goes in the middle of your table for people to share. We're not hogging uh, pencils and we don't just get to say they're just for you. You need to share with others in your class. So um, for colored pencils, these particular colored pencils cannot be sharpened in the electrical sh electric sharpener because they, it jams the electric sharpener. And so if you need to sharpen, so this one tells me that I need to sharpen it. Do you see how there's no there's really no color that I can use because of the wood kind of showing on there. I would say that this one here is a good one because I still see that color. If you sharpen these too much to a point, they're going to break really easy. And I just found a pencil in here, which doesn't belong. So if you find something that doesn't belong in the bin, please put it away. And if you don't know where it goes, give it to me. I'm going to set that aside. So I'm gonna sharpen this. Now, I have a special bin for colored pencil sharpeners. Okay, these are specific for colored pencils. Again, this is in a bin, similar to what you have with your colored pencils in. Actually, it's the exact same size bin. You're gonna unlock this, and underneath, you're gonna find your table number sharpener. Now, one thing that did not happen today that should be happening is when your table is done with a sharpener, you should be emptying it out because I'm pretty sure that if you're coming in the classroom and you're grabbing your sharpener, it's kind of a hassle to realize that the person ahead of you didn't do their job. So make sure when you're done for the day that somebody who's in charge of supplies or helps clean up at your table, make sure that someone takes the colored pencil sharpener and they bring it over, they throw the pencil shavings in the garbage, not the recycling, but in the garbage with the liner. Make sure it's nice and clean, and then you're going to put the cap back on and set it back in. When we set these back in, we always want to set them with the number facing up, because if we stand it this way, the cover won't fit on. So we're going to set them this way. So going back to sharpening our colored pencils. When you sharpen your colored pencil, I would use the smaller hole because you have a skinnier area and you're going to notice actually I'm going to take this off you're going to notice that the tip already broke it's stuck in there see that because I tried to sharpen it too much this happens all the time with these colored pencils okay so if you don't want that to happen then don't sharpen it as much I'm making a bit of a mess here but so maybe I'm only sharpening it just enough to get the color where I can actually, whoops, that broke. Well, these aren't being very helpful for me today. So I would just continue to use the colored pencil until I can no longer get color. And then I would go back in and I would just sharpen it a little bit more. I would not sharpen to a fine point. Just sharpen until you have, you can see a little bit of color and you can use it. Yes, that means you might do more sharpening, but you're also gonna have a lot less breakage happening for there. Now, one thing that's nice about colored pencils is that even if they're like this and they're not at a really fine point, you can get some pretty detailed work, unlike crayons or oil pastels. 
And then you can also do a little bit of blending. So here's, I think this is a red, it looks like a poppy red. So if I were to go in and I were to take a, this is a yellow, a lemon yellow, and I were to go on top, you can see that these can also blend a little bit. Not as much as the oil pastels, but you can go over on top of one another. Let's see if I can get a yellow green here. So here's a green. So you can kind of blend them back and forth if you take your time. With colored pencils, it's really important that you are not coloring like this. Actually, that's not bad. I, I would say you're not coloring like this. We talk about neatness. If you want your color to be nice and strong, then I would give it a little bit more pressure and really kind of fill that in so it's looking nice and sharp. That'll stand out a lot more. So when you're done using colored pencils, you need to make sure that the colored pencils have been put away. You're making sure that your cover is back on. You are clipping the two sides securely fastened and you're making sure that the colored pencils have been put away properly so they're being slid in going in this way with the small short side showing. Again at your table, if you use the colored pencil sharpener, you're opening this up, you're taking this over to the garbage, you're emptying it out, putting the cover back on and making sure that the colored pencil sharpeners go back in the bin. I'm going to clean this up. This is a bit of a mess right now. Hopefully when you come and you get a colored pencil sharpener, this will be a clean bin and hopefully you'll also be getting an empty sharpener. So please do your job and make sure that your tools and your materials are put away properly.